Hello and good day. You're welcome to the April 23rd edition of the Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor Enoch Adeboye. Our topic for today is Conditions for Divine Blessings. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 2. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, I'll take it again. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. We're reading Genesis 27, verse 1 to 4. Now it came to pass, when Isaac was old, and his eyes were so dim that he could not see, that he called Esau his older son, and said to him, My son. And he answered him, Here I am. And he said, Behold, now I am old, and I do not know the day of my death. Now therefore, please take your weapons, your quiver, and your bow, and go out into the field and hunt game for me, and make me savory food, such as I love, and bring it to me, that I may eat, that my soul may bless you before I die. Many people wish to be blessed by God and man, yet have never done anything towards actualizing their desire. Some have received great prophecies, which indeed were genuine, but did not come to pass because of their inaction. There are several people who, are, who want to be blessed by God, but they refuse to play their part in getting these blessings. There are prophecies hanging over the lives of so many people, but people have refused to take action. And because of that, because of their inaction, the promises of God or the prophecies of God cannot come to pass over their lives. There are principles that guide divine blessings. The first is that you must be ready to take action. When the Lord told the children of Israel that it was time that they possessed their long promised land, they had to take action by first conquering the inhabitants before taking control of the land that flowed with milk and honey. Joshua 1 verse 11 to 15. Beloved, if you want to be blessed by God, you must take action. You cannot just sit down and say, oh, you are waiting for the blessings of God. The blessings of God are also attached to your action. For example, if God has promised you to be one of the richest people on earth or to be one of the wealthiest people on earth, God's blessings won't come to you if you just sit down and sleep in your house saying, oh, I will be the richest person on earth, I will be the richest person on earth. It doesn't work like that. You must put in action. You must get something that you're doing that God will breathe upon and that you will be blessed and that that prophecy will come to pass over your life. As God also promised you to be a great man of God, as God promised you nations as your inheritance, you need to take action. You need to rise up to pursue after God and righteousness, to pray and give yourself to the study of the word so that you will be equipped with what it takes to take up nations for the sake of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Exodus 14, before the Israelites could walk on dry land, in the midst of the Red Sea, they first had to move forward. That prophecy concerning you may not come to pass until you take action. God had promised them that they would get out of Egypt into the promised land. You know, but what happened? They had to take action. They had to cross the Red Sea. Imagine if they sat in their houses saying, Oh, God promised us he would take us out of this land, out of this Egypt. God promised to take us out of Egypt. Nothing would have ever happened until they stepped forward in faith to take action. Then God breathed upon their action and caused miracles to happen. Beloved, are you sitting down and waiting for God to do a miracle? You need to take action. If you don't take action, God's plan and prophecies over your life will not work. I charge you and I today to take action and watch God move on our behalf. In the scripture reading of today, Esau had to meet certain conditions before he could access his father's blessings. The father's blessings, whether biological or spiritual, is so powerful and can only be reversed by God. This is why you must not miss it. Esau told Isaac, Isaac told Esau rather, to go and prepare his best food just like he likes it. Why? So that his soul will bless him. 
Beloved, there's nothing that can replace a father's blessing. Whether your father is spiritual or physical, that blessing is very important. And the only person that can reverse that kind of blessing is God. If receiving the blessing is so great, imagine the implication of missing it. To access divine blessings, you must be ready to give. If we want divine blessings, we must be ready to give, to pour out ourselves as a drink offering, to give your time, to give your resources, to give your money, to give your talent, your intellect, to God and to the service of his people. Without blessing people, you cannot be blessed. You cannot be blessed. Give bountifully, so bountifully, so that your harvest will be, will, be, will be abundant. I pray God will help you and I to be moved with compassion to give and give and give, so that we will continually be blessed by God in Jesus' name. Amen. Proverbs 3 verse 9 to 10 says, Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruit of all thine increase, so shall thy bands be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out. With new one if you want your band to be filled with plenty if you want your presses to burst out with new one you must honor the Lord with your substance you must give the Lord those good things that you have you must give the Lord a portion of your resources a portion of your time so that he will bless you and new wine will flow out of your life in Jesus name you should always have something to give not only to God but also to his servants no gift is too big or too small please give to the servants of God who labor over your life I was reading something recently and they said don't only remember your pastors when there's trouble remember them when you have plenty and give to them these people labor over your life they labor over our lives they pray for us they, 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 they teach us the word of God Give them, bless them so that their heart will also bless you and they will pronounce spiritual blessings upon your life. I charge you and I to give gifts also to our spiritual parents and God will bless you in return in Jesus' name. Isaiah 55 10 says that God will always give seed to the sower. A seed is not to be consumed but rather sown so that it can bring forth a harvest. As long as you sow, you will surely reap. As long as you give, you will surely receive. There's a popular saying that says, the hand of the giver is always on top. As long as you keep on giving, God will keep on blessing you and there will be new wine flowing out of your life. I pray that at every point in your life, you will not lack seed to sow in order to access your divine blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, you and I are charged today to give. Give to God. Give to his work. Give to missionaries on the field who have left the comfort of their houses to go to preach the gospel in areas that you and I cannot go to. Please remember them and give to them. Give to pastors, give to ministers, and God will bless you in return in Jesus' name. Prayer points. Father, give me, give me all it takes to access the divine blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you because you will bless us with the grace to access your divine blessings. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. <music>